Hi, I'm Vinny, this is Makeify. I have a bunch of pallet wood sitting around. I wanted to do something with it, so I designed and built this lamp. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. I went to my stash of pallet wood and picked out a couple of nice pieces. They were three and a half inches wide and one inch thick. I printed out eight copies of a template I made and used spray adhesive to stick them to the wood. You can download this template for free, link below. Then I cut all eight pieces out with my bandsaw. Doing this with a coping saw would be possible, but it would be a lot of work. I used a sanding disc on my homemade drill-powered lathe to sand most of the surfaces of all eight ribs. and use the sanding drum to sand the inside curve. I marked the center of the bottom of each wood rib. I don't have a protractor, so I printed an isosceles triangle with a 45 degree tip and stuck it to a piece of poster board with spray adhesive. Then use that to mark a 45 degree angle on the bottom of each rib. I used a miter saw to cut these wedges on all eight ribs. This was kind of a pain in the butt, but it was the only way I could think of doing it with the tools I have. Then I sanded the edges I just cut. and glued the ribs in pairs. Clamping was a bit of an issue with these angles, so I clamped two ribs together from the top and bottom, perpendicular to the glued surfaces, which isn't ideal, but it seemed to work. Then I glued two pairs together. And let them dry. And finally glued the whole thing together. and let it dry. I drilled a one and one quarter inch hole in the bottom of the lamp with a forstner bit. And then sanded the bottom flat. I also sanded and scraped off the rest of the exposed dried glue. I needed a place for a cord to go, so I sanded a groove in the bottom of one of the ribs. Then I taped that groove and the inside of the hole I drilled so they wouldn't get covered in finish. 
I finished the lamp with several coats of spray lacquer. To wire the lamp, I got a lamp socket, a long skinny bulb, an extension cord, and a switch. Basic extension cords and lamp cords usually come in two common sizes, SPT1 and SPT2. My switch is for SPT2 cords, so I made sure to get an SPT2 cord. Switches vary, so check the packaging. You can buy lamp cords with switches built in, but they usually don't have a high and low setting like this one does. The lamp socket I got had an extra little part that I didn't need, so I removed it. Then I cut away the plastic in a spot because I wanted to route the cord slightly differently from what the manufacturer had in mind. Doing this makes it more likely to create a short in the wiring, but I was extra careful with the wiring and I think it'll be alright. I removed the tape from the lamp and used a two-part quick setting epoxy to attach the socket to the hole in the lamp. It would have been cleaner if I had inserted the socket from the top rather than the bottom. As that was curing, I cut the female end off of the extension cord and stripped the wires. The neutral wire of the extension cord goes to the fat prong and it needs to be wired up so it goes to the threaded base of the bulb. On my socket, that's the silver screw. I attached the wires to the correct screws and tightened them down. And I used some more epoxy to attach the cord to the groove I sanded. I marked where I wanted the switch and wired it up following the instructions that came with it. Different switches have different instructions, but they're usually easy to follow. I got a piece of black craft foam with adhesive on one side and cut a three inch circle out of it. I stuck it to the bottom of the lamp to hide the wiring and prevent the lamp from scratching my table. Then I screwed in the light bulb and plugged in the cord and the lamp was finished. I'm really happy with the way the lamp turned out. I like using pallet wood for projects like these because I think the imperfections in pallet wood really provide some nice character, but you could make this out of just about any type of wood you wanted. If you'd like to make one for yourself, you can download the template I made, linked down below. There are also links for the supplies I used. I really like the way the long skinny light bulb looks in this lamp. And in fact, I designed the lamp around that style of light bulb, but you could use a different type of light bulb. Just be aware that your standard size incandescent or LED light bulb will just barely fit through the top. So not all light bulbs are going to fit in this lamp. Just be aware. And my hand will just barely fit through the top here. So if you have bigger hands, uh, you might not be able to get in there to change the light bulb. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. I also have a second channel, Makeify 2, where I do more vlog style videos, go in depth on some of the projects, do some behind the scenes things. You can check that out. If you like the things I make, you can support me on Patreon. I'm also on Twitter and I have an Etsy shop. Links down below and there'll be clickable icons in just a second. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Vinny. This is Makeify. I have a bunch of pallet wood sitting around I wanted to do something with, so I designed and built this lamp. Where's the switch? <laughs> uh, if you do make one for yourself, you can... <sighs> but you could make this out of just about any type of wood. If you would like to make one... Uh, two different meanings of wood. <clears throat> I really like... I really look... <sighs> so, not all light bulbs may... <clears throat> A larger light bulb might not fit. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Links down below, and there will also be clickable icons here just in a second. Just in a second. That doesn't sound right. Okay.